This is just going to be a quick video uh, in regards to the incident uh, that happened in McDonald's uh, and it was recorded on video and it's now going viral on YouTube where two lesbian women, that's what they were, uh, two lesbian women um, wanted to attack this man that was working at McDonald's um, for whatever dispute it is that they were having uh, and the video starts after the dispute has already taken place and and it kind of just fast forward straight to the violence so i don't know exactly what happened but from what i understand um this these these uh two women had a disagreement with the mcdonald's employee they then reach over the counter and slap him uh and 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 jump the counter you know because a lot of these lesbian women they think that because they they're trying to emulate men uh, and that's what lesbians are doing trying to emulate men they believe that because they they are trying to emulate men that that somehow confers onto them the, the same strength and 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 physical abilities uh, that a man would have. So they hop the counter and you know well first they slap him and unprovoked you know because the video clearly shows that this man n never touched them never put his hands on them there was an argument and they took uh, the first. Uh, they, they struck the first blow, so to speak. They attacked this man first. They put their hands on this man first um, in violence. The man then goes to the back area and uh, gets what appears to be a lead pipe uh, and, and proceeds to beat the living crap out of them. And, um, you know, so the news, the news stations are reporting this as, as a savage attack from a McDonald's employee uh, onto two customers. When the video clearly shows what really happened is that these two women, um, because you know, and 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 I suspect that this is because they are lesbians, um, these two women are portrayed as the victims, even though they clearly initiated the attack. The point of this video is to uh, now instruct women, or, or try try to give you some kind of fair warning, because uh, and and don't get me wrong, I detest violence. You know, there's nothing good about what happened here. Violence isn't good. But the man reacted as though he should have. He, he reacted in a way uh, that proved, uh, you know, a lesson that people learn over and over, and specifically men and boys learn at a very early age, is that if you put your hands on somebody, uh, you better be prepared to fight them. And that person might pull out a lead pipe or a gun or a knife and, you know, make short work of you. So if you're going to go around putting your hands on people, and, and, you know, this is something that, that should be expected because uh, remember, women, that, that you wanted independence, you wanted, uh, you know, you, you took chivalry as an insult, that kind of stuff. And, you know, you wanted, to, you wanted to break through that glass ceiling, so on and so forth. You want to be treated equally. This is what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know if you didn't expect this kind of behavior to, to eventually result from demanding this, this different treatment, this equal treatment. You know, I mean, I don't know why it's a surprise that when women start to become violent towards men in an age where they demand to be treated equally, that um, they, they, they start getting hit like men uh, when they initiate the violence first. So this is me just trying to warn women um, without any, 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 any sort of threatening uh, language or anything like that. I'm just trying to simply tell you that in this day and age you will find less and less men that will tolerate you putting their hands on them uh, in anger or violence. Uh, if you can't understand that then you'll just have to learn the hard way like these women did. Of course um, you know it's very likely that this McDonald's employee will uh, be charged with a crime probably even a hate crime because you know we can't piss off the gays by you know <laughs> not tolerating them going out and randomly hitting uh, people while they're trying to make a living, but you know that's probably what, what will end up happening. And you know it's a shame that in this country you can't defend yourself without being charged with a crime, depending on who is attacking you. This is why I resisted and and made videos against all of these special uh, hate crime legislations uh, for race and for you know I hate even using this term because it's so saturated with PC. But, um, you know, sexual orientation and all that kind of stuff, you deserve no special treatment. This is the result of the sacred cow laws that create an environment where uh, certain people uh, that, that, that want to bully other people that are members of these uh, special members of society that are, that are extra protected, 
they feel emboldened to do whatever it is they want and people are scared to check them and what happens when you end up messing with the wrong person or 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 hitting the wrong person or putting your hands on the wrong person is just one of them will eventually flip out and kick the living crap out of you and to be honest the man did nothing wrong you know i i i detest violence i really do but if you put your hands on people you're going to get beat down eventually by somebody who's not afraid of you or your uh, special protections that society has unfairly uh, applied to you you know and this is why i don't trust all all of this so-called oh gays just want to be treated like everybody else no it's not the case what happens is they want to be treated better than everybody else to the point that they feel that it is their uh, entitlement to go around and bully people and that's the most dangerous bully that's the most dangerous kind of bully the one that feels that society will facilitate their bullying and knows it and then goes ahead and and, and pretty pretty much tries to humiliate and degrade people uh, knowing that society will back them up this is why I don't support uh, any type of chivalrous uh, legislated benefits to women I don't support any so-called uh, equality for um, gays or whatever and I don't and I don't, and I don't even support any any uh, advantages given to any specific race I mean you know the only way things are going to straighten out in this society is if we start living in a true meritocracy where you know people keep their hands to themselves unless they're ready to really fight where the best man or woman gets the job so on and so forth equality under the law that is what's been suggested on this channel over and over and over again this will probably also be spun as a racial issue but it, but see but you see that's the beauty and the hypocrisy of these affirmative action laws you see, this time, it can't be said that some racist white guy was just being racist for beating the crap out of these women because the guy who defended himself was a black man. So there you go. You can't affix this behavior to any sort of racism unless the man was racist against himself. And to be honest, the guy was just trying to make a living. And you know what's funny when you start to see all this go down? Uh, you know, these tough women, all of a sudden, they're screaming like children, panicked, don't know what to do and all they can really do is just stand there instead of instead of you know if, if they really want the violence to stop why don't any of them step up and try to put a, a stop to that violence even though the man was defending himself and I support what he did you know if they really wanted to see that violence stop then they should have done something about it but instead they scream like children waiting for some man to do it and that's when shit gets real and that's when the real value of men in this society becomes apparently clear when shit gets hectic, when shit hits the fan, when, uh, you know, some real shit is going down. That's when it's only men that step in and stop it. But, like I said before, our society is conditioning uh, men to just not give a shit anymore. And, and I welcome it, you know. I'm, I'm actually going to thank the feminists for that. I'm going to thank the feminists. I'm going to thank the feminists for creating an environment where men are so sick and tired of being expected to do this or that that they have now rejected it because it's given us freedom it's given us an opportunity to look into the future and see a big beautiful field of freedom you know I mean I mean I often picture it like we're running through a field um, and in this field on either side are thickets of, of bushes with berries on them and these these berries taste like freedom and, and we've tasted these berries and we don't want to go backwards in the trail we want to go to that field where there's bush after bush after bush uh, with these freedom berries and we have tasted freedom and that's the real uh, aphrodisiac to men not a single pussy on planet earth can compare to the sweet taste of freedom it just cannot that's the male aphrodisiac that's why I talk so much about male sovereignty in my videos because that's what it means when you have tasted freedom, no woman can compete. It's just that simple. And then it becomes a situation where you will take along a woman maybe uh, on your path towards that big, open, beautiful field of freedom. Maybe you'll allow a woman to join you. But if she decides to hinder your progress towards freedom, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to leave you in the dust. And I'm, and I'm running at a sprint for freedom. And if you can't keep up, and if you can't, and, and if you're not doing anything to help us get there, then goodbye. 
And so, you know, I know I just kind of went off on a tangent, but I guess this video is just a warning to women that if you put your hands on men in anger or violence, that there are going to be more and more men that are uh, going to react violently towards you. Um, this isn't an advocation of violence in any way because, remember, I am making it very clear that uh, men will only do this or, or, or you know, most men uh, will only do this, will only react towards you in violence when you initiate the violence. Um, so this is simple uh, self-defense here. I know this, will, this these comments that I'm making might be spun um, in a way to, to, to say that I advocate violence because, let's be honest, um, women have accused me on this channel of advocating anything from domestic violence to rape to murder to all types of things. I never do, but they twist my words around to reflect that anyway. So I guess this is just a little rant. Um, I know my videos have just pretty much been me speaking into the microphone uh, these last couple of videos, but um, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I have, a, I have a couple things I've been, I've been really trying to uh, wrap my brain around and analyze, and and so those will be coming soon. To all those listening to this, remember, like I said before, don't tolerate female hypocrisy and chase your freedom and secure your male sovereignty. That's all I got to say about it.